Hey guys, I'm Kristen. This is my AuthorTube channel, and today I'm talking about preparing for NaNoWriMo. Let's do this! If you've watched my videos before, you know I'm not a big planner, just because it takes me like years and years and months and so long to plan things out, and then I don't actually get around to writing. But I also can't just fly by the seat of my pants because then my writing is super all over the place and it makes no sense. So when I commit to doing Nas uh, National Novel Writing Month or NaNoWriMo, which is next month in November, um, I do some preparation, but it's not super crazy. I've seen a lot of people who do like daily practices, who map out every single thing in their stories. And I think that's fantastic for them, but it's not really my style. <laughs> and so um, I wanted to share my style today, just in case there are anyone out there who is like me and likes to prepare a little bit, but can't go too crazy. <laughs> so, um, and also I, I put together my own packet this year, which I'm really, really excited about. I dabble in graphic design. I do it for work. I do it for personal projects. I do it for church. Um, I just, I do a lot of design work. And so I kind of applied the design stuff to the pages that I knew would be super helpful as I was preparing for November. Um, like I mentioned, this isn't a day by day thing. This is more um, just things that I think would be cool and helpful as I prepare for my writing next month. So I'll jump right in, woo! <laughs> um, also, this isn't the one that I've been using. I printed out a fresh copy so I could share it with everyone. Um, I also, am, I put it on my website, so if you like something or if you like a couple of the pages, feel free to download it. I mean, I, I'm i all about helping other writers. Um, I feel like we're a community, we should help each other, um, and even if, you know, there are not a ton of things in here that's useful for you necessarily, if there's any, um, feel free to check it out. You don't have to like, I mean, it's totally free, you don't have to suss, like, suss, bleh. <laughs> you don't just sign up or subscribe or anything like that. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. So this is the front cover. And then my very, well, this isn't in order, but I'll talk about it in the order that it's in. <laughs> I love to do this with my characters and with my story. So I start with the main idea and then I just, my brain just goes. Pfft. So I made this sheet and I also made this sheet. So there's characters and their stories and it really helps me to be able to write down in a graphical way things that are happening and going through my mind and then I can make connections that I may not have otherwise been able to make. Um, because honestly, my brain doesn't work in a super linear way and I, I don't know many people who do. So if you can like write something down and then use that word to springboard into other things, I find that that's really helpful when I start planning out my story and my characters and all of that good stuff. Um, I have a note page because sometimes you just need a page to take notes. Um, this is probably my favorite page. It's a bingo card. <laughs> and obviously there's a free space in the middle. There's stuff like outline a scene, decide on your point of view, um, come up with a really cool plot twist, pick a ride in to attend. So with NaNoWriMo, they have regional things and you, you know, you can join up with other writers in your area and get together and do writing together. So stuff like that is on this card. And the reason it's my favorite is because there are rewards associated with bingos and blackouts. Um, for every bingo I get either this way, this way, or this way, um, I get to pick out a new piece of clothing because I'm ridiculous and it's time to transition into fall. And if I get a full blackout, if I do the whole card before November 1st, I'm gonna get a new writing desk. It's been on my list for a long time, but this is a great reason to actually do it. So that's kind of what I'm doing there, incentivizing myself to do NaNoWriMo and prepare appropriately. Um, I have checklists. I love checklists. I think checklists are super handy. And so I make sure to include that in the packet that I designed for myself. I also have a daily planner. Um, I gave this to a friend of mine and she just printed out 30 of these, which I was like, good for you. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, but if, if that's kind of crazy that you need to be motivated, do it. 
If not, um, if you're like me, I just basically plan out my day and follow this pattern for the entire month. So there's a couple different ways you can use that sheet, but I think it's great. This sucker is going on my wall so that I can like cross off or color in the dots. This is the November tracker. And so it kind of tells me, okay, you hit your goals on these days. Um, and then if I missed a goal, maybe I don't color it in, but I know how many words I need to make up for the following day. Um, I like to do a super easy five plot process when I'm planning. And so that's what this is. Um, the plot lines are up here and then I can write details down here, which I think is, I mean, it's helpful for me. Hopefully you guys find it helpful too. I included some writing prompts, um, my favorite free writing tools, which I will be doing a video on very soon. Um, these are my top four, but I do have five that I use that I think are super helpful, especially I mean, that's the beautiful thing about writing, right? Like, it doesn't cost you anything. Like, you can use your experiences, you can use free software. Like, it doesn't need to be a huge, expensive undertaking. Um, and then finally, I made a bunch of worksheets just so I could, you know, fill them out and add more check checklists and just stuff like that. So there's six worksheets. There's a bunch of really fun, random things. The bingo card. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So it's not a crazy like, oh, follow this to a T every day um, because that just doesn't work for me. If it works for you, that's awesome. The thing I think that's the most important about preparing for these crazy writing um, characters, that's not the right word. These crazy writing challenges, that's the right word, <laughs> is finding what works for you. And this is what works for me. So if it works for you too, feel free to download it um, and maybe get some ideas or watch other videos and get some ideas. Um, and obviously I'm not an expert. I don't think anybody honestly is an expert on writing because it's all very subjective. The process is different every time and editors and publishers are looking for different things also. So like what may work for one person isn't gonna work for the next person and I think it's just part of life, right? You just have to experiment and you have to try things out. And if it works, then do it. And hopefully some of these work for you because it's been really fun for me um, as I've prepared for November using these different sheets. Um, you can do it on the computer, you can do it with a printout, um, but it's just been really fun for me. And so yeah, I hope it's fun for you too. And I hope that November planning is good so that you can just kind of hit the ground running and tell your story. So that's the goal, right? <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you like this. I'll put the link below for you to check it out if you're interested. Um, and then yeah, I will see you in my next video.